Here's everybody, this is Eric, I'm back. I'm gonna do a review on my 220 volt PID system. I've had it for about a year and a half now, and I've been wanting to do a review on it and kind of do a rundown and how, how it ramps up and holds temperature and that kind of good stuff. I'm gonna simulate a brew day, and uh, I'm gonna heat up a total volume of uh, water for strike and then to boil. And I'm gonna do a timer and all that good stuff to give you an idea how fast your ramp rates are with a 220 volt electric system. So that's coming up next. All right, what I have here is a simulated brew day. Uh, I believe 13 pounds of grain simulated brew day, which would be 8.4 gallons of total volume. And um, I'm gonna do two gallons to strike 6.4 to sparge, which would be 8.4. Groundwater temperature is 81 degrees. 81 degrees, and we're gonna do this, and I'm gonna do a ramp up to strike. That's coming up. Okay, I'm set up, and uh, I'm gonna start to record, and we'll see how long this takes at full power to come up to strike temperature, which would be 162 degrees, usually what I do to dough in. And uh, that's coming up, here we go. Power on. Start. Power. A little off as far as the PID and uh, little temp probe there that I have, that little Taylor. I have an old trusty dusty little thermometer. I checked it and it was 161 when I checked it and uh, 161. So I would strike with that. A uh, little bit difference there between my uh, PID and then the Taylor. So 19 minutes to heat up to strike. I'm gonna drain my kettle down to about seven gallons to simulate I'm gonna boil the wart from 160 to boiling temp. So I'm gonna do that next. All right, right at seven gallons, 57.9 degrees. Starting a little roll here, 205, 209. And I believe what happens a lot of times is they get the, the, those probes get bubbles on them and it's kind of an insulator. And that's one thing I have noticed. So we're at a bowl and that's uh, 13, call it 13 minutes. <clears throat> okay, so there we go, 19 minutes from 80 degrees up to 160 strike, and then from 160 to boil, at a boil volume, it was 13 minutes. This is Electric Brewing Supplies control box. It's a 24.1 amps, 240 volt full load. That's a 5,500 watt element that the element in the housing was $190. Um, it has a brew pump outlet, 1.2 amps. The box measures 12 by 12 by six and a half inches deep. And uh, it's roughly 10 pounds, 12 pounds. Uh, it's just a guess. I don't have exact numbers on that. The pros, uh, no gas, no radiant heat from your pot like you would have on gas. Uh, you're not going to scorch the bottom of your your brew kettle. The only thing that um, you get proteins built up on 
is the heating element and it's relatively easy to clean just like it would be the bottom of your kettle but uh the cons uh the setup is expensive uh, you're talking about over seven hundred dollars here that i have just in the, the the control box and the heating element and all that good stuff you can get get by a little bit cheaper depending on i got stainless steel heating element housing and that was i think 60 bucks in itself but the the elements are not that expensive the temp probe is wonky it 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 Sometimes you have to fool with it, and I have contacted Electric Brewing Supply, and they are aware of it. Now, whether they are cor trying to correct that issue, I don't know. You have to jiggle it and fiddle with it from time to time. It's like a, a loose or dirty connection that gets on there. And um, you need a dedicated spot. You need a dedicated spot. This isn't something, I guess you could put it on a rolling stand and roll it around and store it, but you really need a dedicated spot. But um, would, I, would I do this again? Absolutely. Um, I don't miss gas. I don't have to buy uh, gas ever again, and that's very nice. I enjoy that part. Um, and uh, some gas burners are really, really loud. I know some of them are not. Uh, the Hellfire particularly is really quiet gas uh, burner. So, but other than that, uh, this uh, system has served me well. Like I said, about a year and a half, uh, maybe two, closer to two, that I've had this system, and I really, really like it. And I have thought about. Um, getting rid of my ink bird and going to a dual element system and using my rims tube or maybe even a three element but uh, either way if it's it's not hurting anything having what I have now that it's on this uh, on this gimbal here it's basically a it, I can move it around anywhere I want and it turns and it's a, a one of them cantilevered uh, TV mounts that I had that was left over from an old TV that I had. And um, I didn't need a cantilever mount anymore, but this system has served me well. Uh, electric Hats off to Electric Brewing Supply. I'm gonna open it up and let you look inside and uh, talk about it a little bit more here. So you got this key here that, that comes that comes with it. And uh, it just you just take this, this key just comes out here and uh, this is just what you got here so this will uh, run one element one brew pump and it comes with a uh, key on off emergency stop uh, there's your pump on off switch and this uh, controller is you set it to manual or you can go to uh, let's see I'll change this set point to whatever I want, set value. So I'll make it, uh, I'll go down to 164 and I'll set it. And now it's, it won't do nothing. So I'll go to manual. I can run the temperature all the way up. Let's see here, 100%. And now it's 100% power. But these uh, PIDs are pretty easy to easy to run. I usually run it all in manual, um, and uh, when I'm doing a boil, it's about 75% out or 75% power. Uh, that's where I usually boil. But uh, that's it. It's pretty straightforward, small system. It's the smallest one they make, smallest one they sell, and um, I, I like it. I'm glad I went to 220. Uh, 110 volt just wouldn't be enough to. Um, it'd take me too long to boil, and uh, it's already enough weight when you have to, um, uh, when you're heating up your water anyway. So I wanted to heat it up as fast as I could. And yep, this is a good system. I enjoy it, um, but a uh, few little cons here and there, but other than that, it's a great little system. But uh, thanks for watching. This is Eric and uh, please subscribe. Uh, any comments, leave them down below. Any questions, please let me know. And uh, as always, thank you and cheers.